this is Will's Front, brought to you by theunshackled.net. Now, before getting on to uh, tonight's uh, guests, I want to talk a bit about uh, banking uh, deplatforming. So, um, I think most of you might uh, recall uh, back in, in June, uh, Australia's most prominent patriot activist, uh, Blair Cottrell, uh, he was uh, deplatformed by his Westpac bank. They said that they were closing his Westpac personal bank account uh, due to commercial imperatives and said, we cannot disclose these. And a lot of it, there was a lot of speculation what, what this was connected to because he was uh, using his personal bank account after his PayPal got sh shut down to receive donations for his uh, appeal in the Victorian County Court, his uh, blasphemy uh, conviction over the, the mock beheading video in, in Bendigo. Uh, during the UPF activism back in, in 2015. So th there could have been some pressure from the, the state government uh, back then, but it's taken, a, like, obviously uh, Blair is the most high profile patriot activist, so of course it's wrong, but it's not surprising that he would be targeted with a bank uh, deplatforming. Uh, but it's taken on a more sinister edge uh, lately, now, I wrote this story back in late September, uh, which talks about another Patriot Bank of Accounts uh, being closed. Now, I'm not sure if uh, all of you know who, who Thomas Brasher is. He was a member of Lad Society in 2018 and was one of the club members who joined the New South Wales uh, Young Nationals. Now, the, the ABC and Alex Mann, News Corp and the White Rose Society, they doxed uh, these Lad Society members in the National Party, including Thomas, and they were expelled and all Lad Society members were, were banned from ever becoming uh, party members. I did an interview here back on my old program, The Unshackled Waves, back in January, where Thomas talks about uh, his experience. Uh, he's just a private citizen now, and he's largely withdrawn from not just activism, but social media. But he got informed by his uh, Westpac bank. I'll see if I can uh, blow up this image. Here we go here. So, in accordance with Section 4.3 of ANZ Savings and Transaction Product Terms, ANZ gives new notice to close the account effective 14th of October. And it says, you may review the... goes down here, that, yes, um, yeah, we cannot tell... It basically says we cannot tell you why we're closing uh, your account. Please note this decision is final and cannot be... Uh, reconsidered your sincerely ANZ customer maintenance team. Now go back to the article. Let's see. Uh, so, yeah, quote section 4.3 of the savings and transaction product terms and conditions. It's giving them authority to close accounts without the consent. Only plausible reason under this section is that they think that he's not been using his account appropriately. It says, in addition to the circumstances in section 2.22, we may close your account if we think you are not used it appropriately or for any other reason acting reasonably we consider appropriate. So yeah, they basically, they can decide at a whim there, A and Z with no recourse that they can just uh, close, close your account. And now it's just broken uh, today that uh, uh, primarily ANZ, but a few other banks are sending out uh, notices to a lot of other, uh, not just patriot activists, but those who've been associated with uh, the nationalist movement and their family members have been getting uh, letters stating that their bank accounts are going to be closed for Un undisclosed uh, reasons. And I think it's worth here reading out a, a gab earlier today from uh, Blair Cottrell, who was the first uh, victim of this uh, deplatforming. Because let's not remember, I mean, getting, off, getting kicked off Facebook and Twitter and, and YouTube, social media, that's, well, that sucks, but you've, you can still live your everyday life while banking is used for transactions all the time. You may use your bank account, your uh, debit card five, ten times a day. So when it's essential service, 
and but uh, banks of course they're they're in this woke social justice age and so they don't want horrible racists and fascists uh, using their uh, account uh, but of course uh, if you go back to uh, just that uh, article that I shared with you before it also mentions that uh, PayPal uh, they were being investigated by the Australia's uh, transaction uh, regulator, the Australian Transactions Reports and Analysis Centre, uh, potentially uh, illegal financial activities uh, that they'd been, uh, they uh, PayPal had been used to facilitate uh, child pornography uh, payments. And you can probably guarantee that uh, the the big banks, they've probably still got child pornographers and and drug dealers uh, using their their banking uh, facilities, but uh, they want to pick on these these evil uh, fascists uh, first. So I'll go back to what I was going to do reading uh, Blair's uh, Gab. So here we go here. Bank account closures by ANZ, Commonwealth Bank and Westpac Banking Corporation in Australia. For the past four years, Victoria State Police have been seen filming political rallies and rally attendances with handheld video cameras. When questioned, police have said the cameras were for public safety. Over the past 12 months, dozens of people who've attended at least one rally against state policy, specifically immigration policy or the, the multicultural agenda, have had their personal bank accounts closed for commercial reasons. Banks have stated they cannot provide further information. Over the past six months, family members and associates of rally attendees have also had their personal banking accounts abruptly closed by one of these three major banks, citing the same abstract reasoning. So far, only a few freelance journalists are trying to investigate this matter to discover whether or not state intelligence agencies such as ASIO or the AFP are involved in these account closures as the information necessary to know these identities and personal banking information of not just political activists, but politically inactive family members and friends associated with open political activists that would probably have to come from one or both of these agencies. It will certainly explain the handheld video cameras used by police at political rallies over the past few years, which would mean Victoria Police have passed on the footage of political rallies to another agency which reviewed the footage, put the names to faces and listed working class rally attendees for bank account closures by working with or pressuring private banks to comply. If there was a concern regarding extreme elements in political activism, then the censorship and bank account closures currently rampant in Australia would also have have been affecting known members of Antifa and communist groups as well. Instead, communist agitators are being completely overlooked while right-wing and nationalistic activists being targeted exclusively for censorship and forms of terrorism, with even known associates facing bank account closures and social media bans. So I'll give, uh, that's obviously Blair's analysis of what's what's going on. He's, he's certainly right that there's no outrage about this from the media or the the politicians because remember the banks have been in uh, the news again this week remember there was a royal commission uh, into the bank's dodgy dodgy practices uh, but uh, this gets no attention in committees or any investigations like that and the media is basically also deplatformed uh, nationalists don't want to give them a a fair hearing because otherwise they'll get uh, tw uh, angry lefties on Twitter saying uh, how come you didn't call these people a Nazis why why are you uh, sympathizing with them uh, basically uh, the the left they want uh, patriot nationalist activists to be deplatformed from everything they they're, they're probably celebrating these bank closures, probably want the electricity shut down to your house, the, the internet, your phone disconnected, or probably banned from even shopping for food. They basically just want uh, anyone they disagree with uh, destitute and uh, cl uh, close to a, a near impoverished uh, state. Now, is it the banks uh, doing it themselves, basically virtue signaling or being pressured by leftist activists or, or governments it could be could be the federal uh, government or it could be the state government uh, because uh, of course we we know that uh, daniel andrews uh, state uh, government uh, knows uh, no no bounds but what can be done here well basically we're going to continue at the unshackled to, to cover these bank account closures when they happen because it is an outrage you well 
you know, most people agree that you do need a bank account uh, every day and uh, of course they're introducing the cash ban on on cash transactions over ten thousand dollars so they want to prevent you from using large cash transactions but they're also the banks are shutting down patriots accounts so what what are, what are you meant to do if you're just a working class patriot trying to put food on your family's table again it sounds like they basically want want you to be destitute so it's it's pretty disgusting and certainly i hope that some action some more scrutiny uh can uh, be applied because how, how 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 can you be treated like this as a consumer that we're closing your account for a reason we can't specify goodbye uh we don't ever want to deal with you again i mean you expect if somebody doesn't want to associate with you they'll give you an explanation that's only fair and decent but you just get this letter saying we have the authority to do this we're shutting it down bye bye go away like how how is that fair to anyone and of course if antifa or communists or extinction rebellion uh, had their their bank accounts uh, closed uh, they'd be uh, they'd be screaming uh, blue murder there'd be articles and the, the age the guardian decrying this uh, deplatforming uh, they were being pressured by the the fascist uh, government to, to do this uh, this would be a threat to free speech if this was happening because of course uh, fr uh, uh, free speech is only uh, what the the left uh, deem uh, acceptable and, and non hate speech so you definitely know it's happening to one side because all, all there is is just chatter online at the moment about patriots bank accounts being shut down of course if it happened to antifa and communists uh there'd be wall-to-wall -wall media coverage abc would probably do a a story on it there there, there might be a, a triple j or background briefing uh, episode about it so this is I, I would say the most sinister deplatforming initiative or action to happen to date, and I think it definitely warrants uh, more attention and warrants uh, more coverage. And so, uh, everyone, please um, uh, spread the word to to other uh, people in the the alt media that you know uh, to to make sure that as many people know that this is happening and it and it should not stand. This is Wilms Front. Brought to you by the unshackled.net.